Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their ascension process. And I just happened to see just a couple days ago, someone asked me an interesting question and they basically were saying, Victor, I'm considering getting Botox for myself. And they were like, I'm on the fence about it. They didn't say why, but I can gather it's because they feel that that might be a superficial and egoic type of pursuit or goal they have, but there's a part of them that still wants it, and that's why they're on the fence. So how does spirituality, how does ascension and awakening fit in with superficial type and material desires, like fake boobs, Botox, luxury vehicles, jewelry, diamonds, big mansions? How does that, how, how does, how, can they coexist? If you're spiritual, if you're a really spiritual person, would you want Botox? That's what I'm going to answer and give you my own perspective. And it's going to be different than probably what you, you're going to hear most people saying. I have a very, very simple definition of ascension. In, per, in regards to what we're going through. Ascension has a couple more of like a general meaning. I'm talking about what we're all going through, I believe, is quite simply a shedding of all that we've been conditioned to think we are so that who we really are, who we actually are, can become present in our physical reality. It's about being yourself, being your true self. And if you haven't noticed, we live in a very diverse world here. There's a lot of different and very often conflicting opinions, perspectives, religions. We all have our own unique way of relating with this dimension. And what I see a lot in like the new age and spiritual community is sort of like Another, re another religion, essentially, where people jump on board. I'm not saying you guys, I'm just saying generally. It, it's common just to sort of adopt the thinking that if you're spiritual, you can't really desire money. You certainly can't be getting plastic surgery because that's obviously egoic and superficial. And you know, there's all these different connotations that come along with it and that produce guilt. And that is... I think going to cause a lot of people problems as their true self begins to emerge and bumps into these things. Maybe this girl really does want Botox. I'll just give an example. Just to kind of, um, I haven't really told you what I think all that much yet, but the, I'm gonna give a couple examples to kind of really um, give you my actual opinion on this matter, if, it, if, if, if that's something that interests you. I had this friend, Jackie, more like my wife's friend. Um, but she would come around a lot and she was this beautiful like drop-dead gorgeous girl You know bleach blonde hair big fake boobs and she was like a bikini and underwear model And that's just what she really liked to do and whenever we'd all go out and hang out I would see the looks that she would get people would immediately judge her and sum her up and see her and I could just see in their mind they were saying wow, she's full of herself. She's superficial. She must be a ditz and they just like, they, they, they just cast those very oversimplified labels on her without even knowing her. And she was someone who was in super, very intelligent, very kind, very loving, very deeply spiritual, a really good hearted person who just happened to like that. She was always so excited. She'd do these bikini contests and she'd win all the time and she'd bring over her calendars and it's not something Oh, I'm a guy. It's nothing I would do, obviously, but I totally accepted that. That was her being her true self in the, in spite of what people were labeling her. And I gave her, a, I commended her for her courage of really just stepping up and doing that. So, in my opinion, quite simply, it comes down to your motives. Another example I, I wanted to share is, here's a watch I got. It's a $1,000 Movado watch. I bought it for myself about two years after opening a gym. I had the idea to start to start a personal training gym. I knew nothing about business, running a gym, nothing. 
And from scratch, I taught myself everything. I taught myself how to build websites, make Facebook advertisements, sell, do sales with my clients. I literally taught myself in two years every aspect of running a successful gym and it became successful. And during like the peak of it, it was Christmas time and I got this postcard in the mail and it just had this really neat watch on it. And it just caught my eye. And normally I would like never, you see me, I'm, I'm not very materialistic. Six out of seven days, I wear these six dollar black shirts, <laughs> um, but I wanted that. I just, I just wanted that not to show off, not to like say, look how successful I am. Look at my cool. It was just I thought the watch looked cool, and to me, it symbolized two years of busting my ass and hard work and, and the fruits of my labor. So when I see this watch, it's, it, I don't wear it to show off. I wear it because it reminds me of what I'm capable of. So in my opinion, in that case, my motive for buying that watch was fine. Now, if this was another time of my life and I was feeling depressed and I felt like maybe I was just lacking and I saw the watch and I saw oh, that might be a way, I wouldn't think this consciously, but sometimes we can do things like that as a way of thinking it's going to add to our self, add to our self-esteem, add to our the perception that people have of us, our social status, and therefore... I would be disappointed because obviously that's having that mentality. A watch is not going to do anything for me. It can't add anything to who I am as a soul. But it's not the watch that's the problem. It's not the Botox. It's not the fake boobs. It's not the 15 Ferraris that are the problem. It's being in alignment with who you really are and what you really want. There are people who love classic cars who... May, I know a guy who's got a whole bunch of like really expensive cars, more than a lot of houses, you know, like $500,000 cars that I would have no use for. I don't, it's not an interest to me, um, but he just likes it. It's something he truly enjoys. Now, do I judge him and say, well, he's very unspiritual. He has all these gas guzzling cars. He doesn't need these cars. What about the old poor people? Well, all the, the starving people. And he's got these stupid cars. It's not about that. It's about being honest with who you are. So to you who asked that question, if you really want Botox, go get it and don't give two shits about all the judgment that you might receive from people, especially the spiritual people. But if you dig deep down and you think that you're gonna, it's going to make you more beautiful than you already are, happier than you already are, and, and whatever, then that's something to consider. What I love, what I'm so excited to see going on right now is there are so many higher conscious souls emerging all in all aspects and all domains of life almost to really just send home this picture to our thick heads that you can be spiritually tuned in and loving and a good person and be what people would typically collectively stereotype you as being completely contrary what matters is being who you are nothing else it's not wrong to long for material items if you genuinely like them I think I've <laughs> I've made my point um it's just uh, it's a it's a pattern I see. It's a pattern I see, like a a spiritual egotism, a spiritual elitism, and in my opinion, I see just other more disguised egos in, in all over the place who have a spiritual haughtiness about them that a lot of a lot of them might look down on this girl who wants the Botox and say, "Wow, she's obviously dysfunctional and insecure and, and messed up in the head," but that very well may not be the case. We're living in a time where it's going to become more and more and more challenging, almost to a point I see in the future impossible to resist who we really are and what we really want in life. And it's, in my opinion, more efficient just to give in to who you are rather than trying to suppress it because you think it might bump in to other egos. So that's all I have to say about that guy. That's my piece.
take it or leave it. That's just my opinion. And I will speak to you in another video. Have a good day. Namaste.